Americans in this terrorism and it's your fault. Uh, then they're saying uh, they're using the community as political footballs. The gay community, they're spreading lies made about our community. And then add in that uh, with social media platforms, they're monetizing hate, she says. They're monetizing lies. They're making money off of spreading hate and they're not stopping. They have the tools to stop it. So incredibly frustrating to see something like this Saturday night happen when you know what's driving it. The motive well, that comes out to be, you know, the
establish what is uh, now allowed in the First Amendment and the Second Amendment, this does not apply. I'm trying to make very sad, very nefarious. It's wicked. All right, I got several lines open at 890, 8, 866 90 Red Eye, 866 907 Let's go to uh, Tom in Illinois. You're on Red Eye Radio. Hi, Tom. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Good, man. Thank you. How are you? Uh, absolutely fabulous. Um, I was just thinking of what you were saying about the uh, NHL going woke. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Hockey is a very physical game, and it's one of the most fabulous team, team sports, and uh, the camaraderie is awesome. Yeah. But, I mean, are they going to put girls on the ice with boys? I mean, what's going to happen when they get hit? Yeah, so folks are if folks are just joining us. Uh, trans women or women in the NHL have gone ultra-woke. They tweeted out the NHL's proud support this past week in a team trans draft tournament in Middleton, Wisconsin. First tournament com compromised of uh, entirely transgender, non-binary binary players, the 80 folks participating, to which some people were tweeting out, so men playing on women's team, then the league went on to push the woke line that trans women are women, says Breitbart. Um, it, they just totally got attacked. So literally it's just men in, uh, you know, with skates on, acting like they're girls or something, apparently, you know, and um, it's unbelievable. At the, the NHL now was attacking attacking its own people by saying trans women are women, trans men are men, non-binary identity, identity is real. Is this the NHL that you want? Uh, not for me, thank you. My uh, little brother, I watched him for years in, uh, growing up in Chicagoland, I watched him play high school uh, hockey and it was intense, like you said. There, it's just like the military. Nobody cares who or what you are, but you better go out there and get ready to slam people under the boards and be slammed under the boards. Uh, or, or man, get beaten up because that's hockey. Yeah, I mean, like I, I just grew up playing pond hockey, and you know, it's like birth on the ice and get out there, and you know, don't get pushed into the shallow end. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And where are you from? Where are you at? I live in Chicago, on the north side. Okay. Are you going to keep supporting yeah. the NHL if they keep telling you that there's something wrong with you for this? No, I, I mean, I, I love hockey. I love watching the games. I, I watch it on TV. I'm not going to spend 250 bucks and go to see the Blackhawks. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I love the game. I, I just hate to see it, uh, you know, kind of being uh, dumped on by focus. Yeah, they're literally, they're doing, but they're doing it. My, my parents were the season ticket holders in Blackhawk for years. They stopped uh, several years ago because they raised the price. But go Hawks. Yeah, thanks for your call tonight, brother. Okay. All right. Thanks, Chris. Have a great night. You're welcome, man. You two have a wonderful night. Happy Thanksgiving to the great Chicago land area. I'll be there for Christmas. All right. Let's go to Jay in Michigan. You're on Red Eye Radio. It's Chris Brockett for Eric and Gary. By the way, our number is 866. 90 Red Eye. Uh, hi, uh, Jay in Michigan. How are you doing, Chris? Good, brother. How are you? Hey, uh, I don't hear his name George Soros come out very often. And uh, he's just one of the many appendages, like the wokeism, the many appendages of an octopus of communism that's trying to bring down America. And it's like our military. Is our military the military that we want? I don't think so. Let's talk, right into the, our military. Let's, talk, their country. let's talk about that, the military being woke, because uh, here's what I have been saying. Uh, the military is preaching uh, wokeism, drag shows, uh, men in high heels, and uh, uh, all this garbage, non-binary stuff. The Chinese and the Russians love that we're doing this because we are not prepared for war. And I want somebody uh, defending my country. If I, if I go to combat, I want somebody that will rip your head off and, and uh, crap down your throat. And I don't care what they are. And the moment we start making that an issue, the military, the moment we're dead, China and Russia loves it last and we lose. And I'm gonna tell you something else.
out. Uh, there's a, a, a guy who lost both of his legs in combat, and Joey Jones, and his Fox News contributor, he's on regular, a big fan of his. And he literally said, the military that he and his buddies won and, and went into four and lost their legs for is a, has a standard that is practically unachievable. And they want to join that, and that military will challenge you and push you so hard that you will hit the unachievable ability that they set, the unachievable goal. And this takes away from that. And this takes people who are generationally in the military and makes them tell their kids, don't go in. And they're chasing people away that are second, third, fourth generation from going in. And let me add to this. The military purged out you know how they were also going woke and they're saying uh, extremists, they lied, they, they made that garbage about what are they called, white, uh, what are they called, white, um, white, not white privilege, there was some term that, what's his name, white rage, remember that? I don't know who was, but yeah. it was uh, one of the woke generals, white rage, I want to know about white rage. Well, they first, that was Millie, wasn't it? That was Millie, I think you're right. I want to know about white rage. The top notch of our military playing that. And guess what? The military purged out 100 troops of the entire military. That was the radical. It was 0.0005 percent, according to Martha McCallum on Fox News, that are extremists. He seems to say that they, are, that they purged out. Guess what they did do, though? They purged out 15,000 plus. They fired 60,000 troops for not taking the vaccine. And the army is now 15,000 people below their recruiting goal when 60,000 were fired for not taking the vaccine. The number one priority for the military goal is diversity, not feeding China, to focus on because being carbon neutral, instead of getting food cuts everybody, they want diversity. They want diversity and uh, it's uh, destroying us. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing coming up next. The big one is coming. The U.S. military is not ready. The Wall Street Journal editorial board editorial. I'm going to share that with you coming up next day. I appreciate your call, man. Chris, could I just say one other thing? Quickly. Uh, TikTok is another appendage of that yeah. octopus. Take care. Have That's right. TikTok is teaching our kids to go woke, to hate our country, to be friends and all this other stuff, mm -hmm. for men not to be men and girls not to be girls. Um, and TikTok is controlled by China. The Democrats and Republicans both say run from it, like can't you get your kids off of it. Follow your kids. I movement. It, 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 they, can, uh, they know everything on your phone. And they're tracking your kids, following your kids, they're buying habits, and they're cultivating your child and getting them right to, to be uh, somebody that disdains their country. China doesn't allow their children to have it. Get it off your kids' phone. More on Red Eye Radio. We've got several lines open. 866-90-RED-EYE. It's Chris Fox. Red Eye Radio. Uh, and for Eric and Eric. We'll be right back with more Red Eye Radio with Eric Harley and Gary McNamara. Check out all the latest in news, events, trucking information, and podcast at Red Eye Radio's website at RedEyeRadioShow.com. That's RedEyeRadioShow.com. Your diesel works hard. It's time to give it the treat it craves. How's Diesel Treat? Diesel Treat is the nation's number one trusted anti-gel because it prevents gelling in the coldest temperatures without using any alcohol or harmful solvents. Diesel Treat also lubricates fuel, prevents deposits, and safely removes water, extending the life of your engine. For increased power, performance, and fuel economy, grab the only treat that's 100% guaranteed. How's Diesel Treat. With How's, you go or we pay the tow. Learn more at HowsProducts.com. If you're a trucking industry professional, then you need to stay on top of changing regulations, equipment upgrades, and technology advancement. Fleet Owner Magazine gives you all of this and more. Written for fleet executives and managers, Fleet Owner gives you the business intelligence on operations, vehicle maintenance, regulations, and information technology you need to stay ahead. But that's not all. With its monthly print publication, daily and weekly email newsletters, and a website updated several times a day, Fleet Owner has all the latest news and information delivered to you when you want it and where you want it. From industry experts...